All right, hello guys. Uh, today I'm gonna so I'm gonna give you a guide on one of the beasts in Inkscape Three, and that is the Barrow's Brothers. Now, uh, so uh, I'm gonna turn off music so you guys can hear hear me better. Alright, so yeah, Guide to the Barrow's Brothers. So if you don't know, they can drop a lot of good things. Such as the Great Epic, so, such as Emerald of the Forsaken. What's this? The, uh, the many different stuff, Barrow's Totems. And some special things, such as the uh, Dragon Full Helm. So, uh, so. Some of the things they drop is our chaos runes, blood runes. Uh, so the th some of the things they drop are mind runes, death runes, chaos runes, blood runes, barrel totem, and bolt and bolt racks. But they all have special armor so, and corruption sigil. And the uh, 35 million amulet of the Forsaken. So, of course, let's start with let's start with like learning. Well, first off, in order to actually fight them, you should have recommended combat level of 85. And well, you can click learn to learn their attacks. But yeah, I have combat level 99, so. It should be easy. I still do recommend bringing food. So, uh, yeah. So, I'm just gonna get. Just gonna get some shards. Uh, yeah. Also, if you have an Elven Ritual shard, I recommend not bringing it because they will. Because the Barrow's Bars will drain your prayer, so. I'm gonna do this. There we go. That's better. Alright. So, yeah. Now, I'll show you where the Barrels Brothers are located. I have some good stuff. Let's see it. The two fastest way, two of the fastest ways to get to it are from the Max Guild and Cryptonus and the Wars of Truth Token. So, let's start off. Barrow's Brothers are located here on the Castle Drak in Mauritania. So they, so they are a uh, members. When you walk in, there is a, it's kind of like, hold on, there's a UI at the, at wherever you choose it to be, and it'll say Brothers and Creatures Slain. Here's another thing. There's six, eight if you've done the two quests. Kindred Spear, Kindred Spears and Children of Majorat. I think. Wait, no. Ritual of the Majorat. So, this, this mound is Darok the... Uh, so, this mound, the mound in the middle is Aaron Blighted, a magic user. So, he's weak to all to the uh he's weak to ranged here is Derek the infested this mount is Derek the infested who is weak to so he is a melee so br so uh bring magic equipment I'm not I'm not uh I'm gonna be saying uh a lot because I I don't write scripts but I'm not sure what spell he's weak to. This is Verak the. I'm I'm not sure, if, but this is Verak, another, um, another melee user. Up here is is Torag, melee user. This right here is Guthan, melee user, and up here is Carol, a ranged user. So, 
I recommend just bringing ranged and magic equipment. I'm not. I'm not doing that because, uh, as you can see, 28 range. So uh, let's start with, of course, with of course, uh, Aram. So I recommend bringing a Vecna skull with your members and using it. All right. So yeah, click on the tombstone. Now, uh, Aram will cast Confuse, we Confuse and Weaken. Confuse, Weaken, and Curse. And will occasionally cast like a huge fire attack. They'll do upwards of 1000 damage. So after you kill them, as you see, you freeze in the brothers. Next up is Darok. It does it, all, all it does is slash he will do some pretty good damage so I'm gonna eat a shark I might have to eat another shark actually there we go kill them now let's go do bear rock. now the brothers themselves don't drop anything okay When we get to it, I'll show you how you, how you actually get the uh, stuff, all the items. So yeah, magic is recommended as four of the six Beerus brothers are melee, but bring range for Aram and Carol. Another shark key. Yeah, as you can see, they will do a lot of damage. So, you ready? Torag, okay. He has war hammers. Okay. I do like to skip. I, I do like to leave Carol for last because, well, I'm a magic user, and range is very powerful. Okay, so that's how you get uh the rewards, but I'll talk about that later after I kill Carol. So it is recommended that you kill all the Barrels brothers before before entering the crypts because if you don't uh well entering like the, the tunnels because if you don't they will sp well they will spawn inside the tunnels but the more barrels, barrels brothers you kill the more chances of loot you you will have all right there we go now see ya now we head over to Guthrie There will be one of the six Sparrows brothers that will have a hidden tunnel in their crypt. And this. So, you have to go through many doors, as you can see. And find the one that leads into the chest. Now, while going through these doors, enemies will spawn. You can kill them for increased drop rates of like all the runes, t totems, and bolt racks. But, but most of us don't kill them. Don't kill them. And we only kill the barrels, brothers. Oh, and there we go. You see that? Yeah, just going through doors will also randomly spawn the barrels, brothers. Oh, whatever bar whatever brother you haven't killed yet. There we go. Oh. 
Oh, okay. Let's see. Once you get into the right room. Which is not this one. I thought that this was the correct one. So, yeah. All but one of these doors are locked. So, we'll have to go all around. Main room. Once you get to the door that is un uh, that is actually unlocked, you have to go through a puzzle to unlock it. Which involves like sequences. After that, and just open the after that, once you get through, open the chest, and there you go. That's how you get loot. I recommend having once you beat the barrel well it's not, it counts as a bot boss kill after you've beaten all six Barrow's brothers. So Technically, I have to beat 60 Bros Brothers in order to get, in order to get the hub teleport. But the but the hub teleport is actually very useful. Oh shoot, I'm 20 away from uh, unlocking the portal. So yeah, that's a uh, guy on Barrow's Brothers. I'm gonna cut to, I'm actually gonna cut to me trying to get, me getting something rare from Barrow's Brothers. So yeah. All right, let's see what I get. Nothing, okay. All right, well, I guess I'll go back to I can I can sniff it. There there has to be something in this chest. There was something in that chest. Okay. Actually, no, I'm I'm just gonna end the episode here. Thanks for watching. Hope you liked this first Runescape video. And uh, bye.